Hey guys, how are you doing? Thank you so much for stopping by my channel, The Sacred Alchemist, 1111. I'm your reader, Lorraine. Guys, I'm here to do your daily reading for the collective. This is going to cover your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Please note that it's a timeless general reading. It's not a personal reading. So whatever is brought up in this reading may have already happened. It may be happening right now, or it may or may not happen in the near future. You are just strongly advised to just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Um, I do have my window open, just um, a side note. So, um, you know, you may hear like um, sort of um, a little bit of a noisier sound of traffic going past or um, voices as well. It's just that I just need a bit of air. If you haven't already done so, guys, please do like, share, subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell below the screen and that way you'll be informed by email once I've uploaded new content for you guys. I'm just going to swing this around. Let's get stuck into the reading. Now, I was actually hearing that somebody wants to get to know you again. Again. So, is this something that is unfinished? Or do you think that it's finished? I think they think that um, you think that you don't mind them coming back in. For some strange reason, you think it's over, but uh, they don't. So let's just see what this reading, let's see what this is about. For whoever I'm connected with, you've definitely gone about your business. No place like home, and uh, we have got flexible. You're taking a real sense of, um, you're more looking after yourself than anything else right now. The home represents the body. Okay, the home represents the body. Basically, um, I see that you could actually be somebody who is doing a bit of yoga. That's really sort of like, really changing your appearance. You're taking care of yourself. You know, this is, I mean, obviously, this is the only body that you've got. And there's no place like home. There's, no, there's nobody else like you. You're unique. I feel that some of you guys are starting to get into stretching your body getting yourself more supple because, um, you know, you've got the new year that's coming up as well. You guys are really looking to want to really just get in this healthy vibe. Maybe you have been spotted by somebody and this is what's actually been brought up. Let me see. Let's get another card for you guys. You're all about you. You're all about you. This is breathing. I, I'm also seeing this as meditation. Some of you guys may be getting into yoga. Um, if you are, you need to make sure that you're practicing it in the right way. That is all I will have to tell you about yoga. Make sure that you're practicing it in the right way. Learning new breathing techniques. You're definitely, this, this is somebody who's re-sculpturing their body. I see this as re-sculpturing their body. Now, I don't sense anything with regards to anything in this car that represents anybody wanting to come back to you. But this is all about you right now, okay? Nobody else. Let's see what's going on with this reading. And how come somebody is saying that they, they want to get to kind of know you again? So I feel that you're just somebody who's just single. You're just doing yourself. You've got the six of cups. This is a person from your past. I'm going to have to put this as the overall energy, guys, because um, in all honesty, I don't think you're even paying any attention to whoever is coming back or if there's anybody that's new that's coming your way. All right. I don't I, I just really see you as being totally in tune with yourself. I'm not saying that you're being very um like self-indulgent in a bad egotistical way i just see you just really taking care of yourselves and obviously today is december 6th sunday december 6th so to me i always say that sunday is self-care sunday you got to take at least one day out of the week to really pamper yourself and look after yourself all right but the six of cups energy this is somebody from your past soulmate previous life but they want to get to know you again so i'm assuming that it's in this lifetime Okay, now these two cards come up. Hmm. Somebody wants to go back in time. Somebody's trying to reverse the wheel of fortune. It's like they want to go back in time to uh, the point 
of when things are good between you and them. And the seven of pentacles in reverse, this tells me of somebody who, I don't know, it's that part of them that can't wait to see they're feeling impatient, but also they made a bad decision and a choice and they're trying to see if they can rectify it. It's like I can hear them saying, if only I could go back in time, I wouldn't have made the, the, uh, the choices that I made at that time. But I feel that at that time, it wounded you. It wounded you. It really wounded you. Somebody is there. Yeah, they're trying to manifest something back. I also see this as you as well. Um, just really about just taking care of yourself. Manifesting a new image. You could be using the law of attraction. Somebody's coming back to speak their truth. You've got some kind of truthful kind of news that's coming in. I'm not, I don't know how you're going to take this. I'm going to have to clarify because I, I just, all I'm picturing is you right now. And somebody that you know is wanting to, you know, they're, they're trying to see if they can turn back. The wheels of time got the full card. You've also got the Knight of Cups in reverse, the Seven of Wands in reverse and the High Priestess in reverse. Three cards that are in reverse. Somebody's definitely trying to come back to you, all right? Um, and I, I'm sensing something about a broken silence because I also see this as them trying to take a risk, to risk or to try and speak to you. But why is this eight, this, this Knight of Cups in reverse? I'll check that out in a second because I feel that what happened in the past, um, they did block you because you've got the Seven of Wands and the High Priestess was about all of the silence that you could handle. In fact, you they practically never said anything to you. And I feel also at the time as well is that they probably thought, well, why do I have to apologise? There's another thing that's coming through here. Let's get another card. You've got the five of page of swords. They've been spying on you. But the thing is, they have felt that it's a hopeless endeavour. It was a hopeless endeavour. Because I feel that there was more focusing really about what it was that, you know, had driven you both apart. Than anything else. They feel that this could actually be a fruitless endeavour. Because I just said somebody who's doing, you're doing yourself. They're obsessed with you. If I were you, listen, this person, whoever they are, got the devil card there. I, they, I mean, it seems to me as if what they're seeing of you, I'll be honest with you. Remember what I said to you about your body, okay? Remember what I said to you about your body. You're shaping your body up nicely. Somebody's definitely doing some kind of, exercise routine you know really shaping up yourself doing meditation doing yoga as well remember what i said to you about making sure that you do the correct yoga okay i i see something that i don't like with this card with these two cards and i don't like it and especially where this devil card is here i don't like it at all i see somebody who's lusting after you and it is looking at you the body wise you i don't know if you're putting things on social media with regards to your weight loss um or, you know, like what you look was looking like in the last six months or whatever. But you need to be very careful here. Because this is somebody that you know. This page of swords, this person does not mean well. And I don't think they ever did. Or this person could be coming up towards you. But it's definitely somebody from your past. If they treated you like a fool. If they treated you really bad. Um, I'll be honest with you. Please don't take this the wrong way. Okay, I mean well. But I feel that they probably wasn't physically attracted to you as they are now. Maybe you were somebody who had an eating problem and you was a bit on the big side. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest, all right? Now that you've decided to lose weight and shift yourself now into this higher level of like, you know, just really vibing it good, good by yourself, you've triggered them into, into viewing you. And I do sense lust. <clears throat> I sense lust. I don't like that at all. At the bottom of the deck, we've got the King of Swords. I'll be honest with you. You're going to have to give them the cold shoulder. Because if they're coming at you like, like this, right? With this lust on their mind, 
you're going to have to give them a cold shoulder. Give this person from your past the cold shoulder. Because it seems to me as if it's a bit of a superficial thing. They like what they see now. But yet still, before, when you was sort of like in a struggling kind of energy or what have you. Nah. And I feel they probably went with somebody else behind your back as well. Fair party energy. Maybe because of the, um, you know, the sex appeal. I'll be honest with you, I feel that this is a test. I feel that this is a test to test you, to test how far... Again, I keep on getting this, um, you know, sort of message about someone's always getting tested. I feel that we all are at some stages in our lives. So now and again, it will come back up about, oh, someone's getting tested. How far, how much have you learned about yourself? How much have you discovered or rediscovered about yourself? You know your worth now. So because you've leveled up yourself, obviously what's going on here is that they've got kind of like being triggered. And what they see about you, oh, they like that. They like the fact that you're looking trim, nice. Could be doing a bit, little bit of swimming, a bit of gymnastics. But if he's doing gymnastics all the time, no, it's not gymnastics at all. You're not a gymnast. Or you could be looking to do that, for, you know, that, but no, no, no. It, spirits say no. You, you're definitely doing yoga or like Pilates, but definitely yoga. If you, As I said, if he was doing gymnastics, you'd have had to be doing that as a child. And you would have had a, a good body anyway. But this is somebody who I'm dealing with that was a little bit on the plumpy side. And, um, you know, you decided that now is the time to get yourself into shape. Don't go. I tell you what, give this person a wide berth. Right? Because you ended up with the devil energy on the card um, at the end of the reading. And, you know, mm -mm, this person ain't good at all, at all, at all. No way. What is it that, what, 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 I mean, all right, let's look at the magician. Hold on one second. Sorry, guys, let me just ask about this card, um, the Six of Cups. Spirit, tell me about the Six of Cups. Why is this here? This overall energy. What's with this card? What is, what's their game? What is it, what the fuck do they want? What's going on here? Huh, I was a bit late now. It's like they weren't committed to you before, but they're committed now. Right? So they want a bit, so they do want to have something with you. I feel that some of you guys have, have grown to be successful with whatever it is that you're doing. You could be getting a lot of followers. Um, underneath this King of Swords, I do see the Eight of Wands. So you do have um, messages that's going to be coming through, right? But I don't, you know, in all honesty, guys, I don't like this Magician card. The Ace of Swords is there and you've got the Devil card. Because I think, I, I feel to myself, and you've also got the Fool card as well. I feel to myself that they are trying to hoodwink you by appearing to be truthful. But really underneath, they want to, oh God. I'm hearing that they want to F your brains out. This person is highly sexually attracted to you. You need to be very careful of this person. Why do they want to turn back the wheels of time? Why do they want to turn back the wheels of time? Like, they're really saying it. Hold on, guys. All these cards... <sighs> Hold on. So, Spirit, why do they want to... Why are they saying that they want to turn back time for? Why are they saying that? Please, can I have a card? They want to turn back to... As I said, yeah, look at that. Look at that. They know, they know that you was really upset. Look at that. They didn't find you appealing. You see? This is why they want to turn back time. They want to come... It's like they want to come back to you now. In the past, they didn't. It's like they broke your heart. They didn't find your opinion, or they definitely went with somebody else. Third party energy. Now, with this magician card, smoke and mirrors to me. I know it's upright, but I don't trust it at all. Again, they want to come. You could be dealing with a fire sign. They, they definitely want to come back in. Again, the wheel of fortune is in reverse. They're doing everything it takes to get this done. But if you notice, 
you got this ace of staff here ace is the ones isn't it like number one and this represents a zero this is ten they're trying to restart something again now this truth i this ace of swords i hope i don't know i don't like it this ace of swords i don't trust this card at all i'm sorry i don't trust it yeah it's trying to break your defenses down you need to make sure that you are you have this upright like this because I want you to be like that. They want you to break down your defences. If they appear, so basically their plan is, oh, well, if I appear to be interested, I took, <clears throat> if we, if, if I appear to be interested, or if I appear to be truthful, then that's what, she'll, she'll come back to me. It, remember, or he will come back to me. Look at the two of cups in reverse. Fake, 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 fake. And they made, they did try to make a fool out of you. They did try to make a fool out of you. But you've seen the light now. You've seen things differently. You've definitely seen things. And, and also as well, what this was doing as well, I'm, I'm hearing as well that if they were trying to stop you. They, they, to me, it felt as if like they were blocking you. They was giving you so much false, shitty excuses with the Knight of Cups in reverse. But it was done in a way to kind of keep you sort of like interested. Okay. But because of this fact of, as well, you've literally just gone back your business. With this Page of Swords and the Star card in reverse, tell me about this card, Energy Spirit, please. Hmm. They definitely want to come back in again. They're trying to make another cycle. And the Devil card, what they've got, yeah, they want to rebind you again. Ah. That's going to make you very unhappy. The bottom of the deck, we've got that ace of swords. You see it there? That's why I said I don't trust this fucking card. It's a lie. It's smoke and mirrors. They're trying to invert the truth. Stay away from this fucking person. They're getting on my nerves. I'll tell you now. Okay, let's just finish off this reading with another few messages um, from the Wisdom of the Oracle. Please get wise with them. And definitely give them the cold shoulder. Because they definitely have no good intentions for you at all. This is not for you. Observe. Yeah, they're watching you. They are definitely watching you from afar. Okay? I'm really picking that up as well. They're trying to appear to do everything by the book, but they are not. They reckon they're your soulmate, but I'm going to keep... I'm, I, I, I want to keep it like this. They're not your soulmate. But if they are, I feel it's a karmic cycle. It's a karmic soulmate that you have to learn a, a life lesson from. Okay? Let's pull from the Soul's Journey Oracle card as well. They're not very good for you at all. We've got courage. You're going to have to stand up to them. I feel that before in the past, you, you, it's that like you couldn't resist them, as, especially with this devil energy. There was a charmer. There was charmer in your socks off. But now you have to be the one to be very brave here in this instance and tell them about themselves. Guilt. They may appear to be, oh, I was so guilty. I felt really guilty about what I said, about what I did. I'm really sorry. You know, can you forgive me? Forgive them and walk away. Forgive them and walk away. When they said that they were feeling guilty about this, this and that other, okay, I, I just feel it was a poor excuse because it was just done in a way to make you feel, oh, I really feel sorry for them. All right, this and that other. As I said to you, forgive them and walk away. Don't have, don't have nothing to do, don't have much to do with this person. There's, that, I don't think they've changed at all. Regret, let them, let them send the energy of regret. It's not your business, it's theirs. If they feel guilty and full of regret about what they did, that's on them. That's not on you. If I were you, whatever you're doing, you need to be looking in the other way. And definitely pick up on this King of Swords energy and give them the cold shoulder. Give them the cold shoulder because I do feel that they're going to get their comeuppance at the end of the day. Guys, I'm going to leave it here. This is what I've got for you. Okay. Um, please do like, share, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit the bell below the screen and that way you will be informed by email once I've uploaded a new content for you guys. Take care of yourselves, but you know what I mean? You're doing it great anyway. I can see that with those cards. Have a blessed day. Beautiful Sunday today as well. And, you know, self-care Sunday. Keep on doing you, all right? And ignore people like this because I feel that they're just coming back to retest you again. Um, and I feel that this is the universe as well. I've just seen 
how far you've really progressed up the ladder. All right. Take care, guys. Peace out.